when we hear the word swim bladder. We usually think about fish swimming upside down or fish that sink to the bottom or fish that always face down or up Some immediately gave peace Some have succeeded, some have failed How come? Can peace really help? How did that actually happen? What is swim bladder actually? About swim bladder There is a cavity in the body of the fish Where this cavity contains organs of the body There is an intestine, liver, heart, gills, kidney, and other organs But there is one organ that is very unique, shaped like a bag. Inside it is filled with gas, can expand and can deflate. This is called a swim bladder. The swim bladder normally consists of two gas-filled sacs located in the dorsal portion of the face. When the fish wants to float out, the gas gland located after the pneumatic duct will produce gas. It fills the swim bladder, so it expanded. In this condition, the fish rises to the top, and vice versa. Damage If the swim bladder organ is damaged, there will be a swimming disorder with the fish. Damage to the swim bladder will cause the following four things. First, if the two chambers cannot expand, then the fish will always sink. No matter how strong is the fish trying to be able to swim up, then he will immediately fall back to the bottom. Second, if the two chambers cannot deflate, then the fish will always float. How strong is the fish trying to be able to swim down? Then he will swim up again to the surface. Third, if the front chamber is damaged, then the fish will always face down. Four, if the back chamber is damaged, then the fish will always face up. Then what about the upside down fish? The abdomen faces up but backs down. This is a false form of the problem of swim bladder. The real problem does not occur in the swim bladder organ, but in the digestive organ. We will discuss at the end of this video. Back to the problem of the actual swim bladder organ. Actually, what can cause the damage to the swim bladder? Causes of damage First, internal disease Damage can be caused by three things 
The first is internal bacteria or internal parasite. We can call them disease. If the disease attack the swim bladder, it can cause leaks in one chamber or maybe both. Or attack the gas gland. The gland constantly produces gas, so that the two chambers always full. Signs of fish experiencing internal disease are as follows: one, internal bacterial problem. The waste produced does not contain pulp so that it is white or transparent. Internal bacteria are sourced from food, but attacks in the body can spread to other organs. How to deal with it? Internal bacteria can be cured using medication that specifically internal problems, namely cannabisin and tetracycline because both of these drugs can penetrate, passing osmotic pressure of the fish body's wall to reach the problem area. Other than that, metronidazole can also be used, but the metro does not have penetration capabilities. So metro use must be done through feeding. Other internal diseases are two internal parasite usually attack come from a type of worm for example camelanus worms we can see the sign from anal or rectal section usually there are live worms that are smooth enough to hang out they can be overcome with levamisole but cannot eradicate them all the worms inside will be paralyzed. They will roll out trying to get out from inside the fist body. We can immediately suck them out to avoid repeated attacks. Causes of damage Second, impact Some aggressive fish such as chichilids or fighting fish like beta sometimes fighting a lot and when fighting they will hit their opponents wherever they can hit If hit by a blow in the swim bladder area can cause damage to the swim bladder permanently. It will not be cured. Causes of damage turn sound. Swim bladder is interconnected with the inner ear. They are connected by four bones. These bones will carry the vibrations. The ability to detect the sound will increase the level of sensitivity. That's why if the noise is too noisy, can physically damage swim bladder. Of these three things, internal disease, collisions, noise, can affect swim bladder conditions physically and has no relation with food because it's on a different path. But there is a difference which can cause problems in the digestive tract by showing symptoms, which is very similar to a swim bladder. It is trapped food in the digestive tract with two possibilities. First, this food sticks and blocks, trap air inside or around. Second, Food is too hard, so it's hard to digest, and fish experience constipation, resulting in a build-up of food. 
This causes the abdominal organs. It will compress other organs nearby. One of them is the swim bladder organs. Giving vegetables food that are rich in fiber, or it could be boiled peas, will be able to help launch the digestive problems. That's why when even occurs, symptoms of pseudoswim bladder can still be cured with the use of vegetables. So if one day your fish has a swim bladder problems and not return to normal after being fed with peas and vegetables, then actually the problem happen is the swim bladder organ itself who might have been damaged and cannot be cured but can only be helped by using help tools. That's all is my share this time about swim bladder. Hopefully it can help to explain and may add it to our knowledge. Don't forget to subscribe and give your likes if you feel the benefits and like this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video sharing.